Getting here wasn't easy for Griff. I'm not talking about the shows or sailing thousands of miles south of the border. I'm talking about the unexpected downturns, when dreams come true and troubles follow close behind. But first, introductions. Here's Griff, AKA Goth Babe. Griff chose that name when he was a teenager playing in punk bands. Yeah, it's stuck. Unfortunately, but also fortunately. We're glad it's stuck, because the name represents a different side of Griff. A side he doesn't take too seriously and reminds him that it's all just for fun. And this is Sadie, a six-year-old Australian shepherd, Griff's best friend and confidant. Despite stealing the occasional burrito from the camper glove box, Sadie is, overall, a certified good girl. When Griff isn't touring his goth babe, he lives on a sailboat. But before that, he lived in a tiny home. Before that, a camper. Before that, Griff was a kid. His neighbors would bring him their used cardboard boxes because he loved to make things. What got me so stoked was like, there was nothing and then there was something. Pretty soon, skateboarding became Griff's thing. You've probably heard this old chestnut. Skateboarding led to making videos, and editing those videos to music got him interested in picking up his own guitar. Today, his motivation for making music is still the same as little Griff playing with cardboard. The magic that comes when you have nothing and you turn it into something. My sound is kind of created from having restrictions. And my restrictions are living in small quarters and small places. It only allows me to have the most minimal amount of gear as possible. But those restrictions allow me to make the most out of the simplicity of the instruments. This year, Griff will share his first LP with his fans on his biggest tour to date. But with that excitement comes anxiety and stress. I don't know. I definitely am not cut out to be a famous musician at all. Well, the music life found him anyway. And as Griff started to ride that wave, he realized that the touring life didn't bring him the happiness he expected. I just always envisioned a shot of me in front of a huge crowd. And that's what I wanted. And that's what I thought success looked like. Uh, I think that like now that it's here, don't get me wrong, I'm extremely grateful for it, but I think that I just expected it to bring happiness and it doesn't bring happiness. I don't know, what was your question? I totally fucking forgot. In layman's terms, the constant touring made it feel like Griff was playing life on hard mode. Fortunately, he found a few cheat codes. To find a balance, he'd explore new places with Sadie. When it's time for me to go and tour, it's like I'm just expelling everything that I've been charging up over the past X amount of months. And when tour ended, he would pack up his camper and hit the road until the next one started again. Eventually, Griff craved something with more permanence and wanted a space to live in that wasn't a camper. So he started a new adventure, building a tiny home. It was basically just like an insulated shed on wheels. He went to town. He put in plumbing, electricity, a new roof, and extended the tiny home by three feet. Three feet's like a lot of feet on a tiny home. Life is pretty good. But sometimes, trouble has a way of sneaking up on you when you least expect it. He got knocked on his head surfing one day. But not thinking much of a minor concussion, Griff kept up to his normal ways. He drove his camper through the mountains of Utah. The change in elevation caused his brain to swell. Soon, he noticed that the lights and noises of his show started to give him migraines. Your brain feels like it's going to explode any moment. So he looked for a cure. I was doing it all. I mean, I was on every forum. I started to see different doctors, everything to see how I could get better. And after everything didn't help, he tried everything else, even some science fiction-like treatments. But it didn't work. And I'm basically just frying my brain while I had an already still swollen, concussed brain. To his friends and fans, it seemed like Goth Babe was cruising on smooth waters. But on the inside, Griff's life was feeling like the perfect storm starring George Clooney. Only this movie lasted for 18 grueling months. Every single day I woke up, 
I had a migraine. I basically like was hyper aware and paranoid about every activity that I did. So he decided to lay low at home and focus on healing for a month. So yeah, this is my house. Um, it's one room of everything. But the migraines continued. And just as he thought things couldn't get any worse, his world burned down around him. Literally. Griff lost everything. He got the call first thing in the morning while he was out of town. They were like in your little home or whatever, like it burnt down. It's down to like the little metal frame that it had the trailer. Like nothing was salvageable. The first thing that I did was just like, The first thing I did was just grab Sadie and just like hold her. I don't think like anything really bothered me about the home. Like, you know, obviously it was devastating, but like I wasn't worried about my music here. Nothing else came to mind, but like my best friend, you know? She would have been trapped. And it's just like, a, it's just a capsule in there. There's nowhere for her to go. Everything he poured love, time, and creativity into is reduced to this and this. That's a beefy starter, man. Nope. I might just skip the tour and just stay here. <laughs> so yet again, Griff had to start from scratch. Ah, yes. Slowly, his migraines started to heal. His health started to return. He looked around at the nothing he had to see what he could make from it. He figured, why waste any more time? Why revisit old stomping grounds when he could explore new horizons? He thought about sailing. The only problem was, he had no idea what he was doing. So our landlubber studied from the finest naval instructor, YouTube. It was like, oh my, I have so many questions. Like, what does he eat? Where does he use the bathroom? Who's on watch? It's like going to the moon, you know? And I just like bought a boat on Craigslist with zero idea how to sail. That night, Griff christened the boat Lola and started working to make her seaworthy, but it was slow going. It'd be like tour for three days, come home for four, work on Lola for those four days. Go back on tour for five days, come back here for a week and a half, work on Lola. By the time the end of the month rolled up, it was like, we're going to Mexico. charted an ambitious voyage of 1,200 miles that took him from San Diego down the Baja Peninsula, across the Sea of Cortez to mainland Mexico. Assorted friends flew in to help crew Lola, and they surfed what felt like uncharted waters without anyone else in sight. They ate delicious fish for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the bounty of the sea, <laughs> and an occasional taco or two. Sailing, it's like the next level of truck camping, you know? It's like you get to see other countries. You get to surf surf spots that like are not accessible by car. You get to s just see the world in an entirely different way. The trip was glorious. He recorded new music to replace the songs he lost in the fire. And after 18 months away, he was ready to return to Goth Babe and the biggest show of his life.
Griff spent his whole life trying to create something out of nothing. From cardboard boxes to Lola, a passion for travel and adventure helped him get out of the doldrums. After losing all that stuff and going through all that, I think that it just made me realize, like, and you have no idea what's going to happen next week or tomorrow. Nothing is certain. It's truly humbled me into realizing the bare bones of what I need to experience joy. And that's just like a healthy head on my shoulders, enough cash to feed myself, enough time or money to help other people, and a place for Sadie and I to like exist. That's kind of it. You know, I mean, this is a treat.